Hey everyone, we're ready to start Football Manager 2020. I'm excited, I've got my jersey on. This is Jake Plummer, as you can see, or I guess you could probably call it Kyler Murray if you cover up the six. <laughs> but uh, let's get started. I, I just got this, I wanna see how it goes. Look forward to it, definitely excited for this. I uh, probably wanna win the Super Bowl this season or uh, at least get to the Super Bowl as a manager. It might not be easy with the Cardinals. This is exciting. Can't wait to get this going. Good year for sports, right? <laughs> Computer sports. Wait a second. This is not football. Is this soccer? Oh. Cheerio. All prepared, ready to go. All right. Let's see what we got. We got career, fantasy draft, online career, create a club. Never seen this game before. I think I'll start with career. That way I have a team with coaches and stuff like that. I think that'll be a little easier. Maybe next season we might try some uh, create a club or something like that. So let's start a career. Uh, I think I'll choose, I'm wearing blue. Might as well wear blue. Uh, Chelsea's blue. That looks pretty good. I know they're a good team. I'll go ahead and uh, choose that team. loading game database so it looks like we get to choose which leagues have which teams that we're able to choose from and players and things like that we've got uh the british leagues uh premier division and the next couple leagues down that's good french national and above bundesliga in germany italian spanish second division and above major league soccer that works uh those are good teams i'm not sure what all this advanced option stuff is i'll leave it as is uh, go ahead and start the game. And this is starting, it looks like, from um, June of 2019. So this is basically um, this last season that got kind of shortened a little bit. So we're going to play it as, uh, as if it's a full season. I believe that's the setup. I haven't looked into it, so I don't really know. We'll find out. Setting up game database. Oh, lots of hints and tips. I should probably be reading these things. Look to renew contracts for those who are in the final year of their deal. If you want to avoid losing players on free transfers. I wonder if you can trade or if that has to be at a specific time. We will see. Setting up league and cup competitions. So it sounds like they're uh, scheduling everything. Hit early crosses instructs players to get the ball into the penalty area. Something, something. It is possible to go over and reestablish what has been said in a press conference by going over your personal history and selecting press conference from the sub tab menu. You can improve squad morale by winning matches or rewarding them. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say Mangler. I like that name, that works. Um, choose these options. Um, I'll go ahead and use that profile, that works. Um, default still skill focuses. So it looks like you can change your focuses if you would prefer to look at attacking, defending, fitness, goal goalkeeping, distribution, handling, shot stopping, tactical, mental, technical, working with youngsters, and then mental attributes, adaptability, determination, player knowledge, youngster knowledge, man management, level of discipline, and motivating. So you get different points to allocate throughout. Um, I'll go ahead and keep it on default. I'm not sure if uh, one is specific. Uh, looks like you could be a disciplinarian, a motivator, youth development, knowledgeable tactician or task manager so 
um, Taskmaster. So I'll, I'll keep it at that for now. Um, I'll go ahead and hit confirm. Chelsea hired Mike. Chelsea have today confirmed the appointment of Mangler as the club's new head coach. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of soccer at the appointment of the 34-year-old who has recently spent time away from club soccer, and he is sure to face plenty of questions as he faces the media for the first time at Stanford Bridge. Mangler has put pen to paper the two-year contract worth $8 million P slash A, whatever that means. He replaces previous head coach Frankie, uh, Frank Lampard. Mike lacks the reputation of a title specialist, which, given the club's current ambitions, creates an intriguing dynamic as they intend to challenge for magic or major honors. The director says, I'd like to formally welcome you to get acquainted. You get an introductory welcome pack before going on finalized vision and objectives we're to proceed together with. Congratulations and we wish you the best of luck. All right, so this shows the uh, home pitch, the home field is the Stamford Bridge, built in 1877, wow. Um, training gram is Cobham or Cobham, depending on how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Director is Peter Setch, it looks like. Um, assistant coach Jody Morris. Reputation four and a half stars. Media predicts us to finish in third. Memorably last year claimed uh, the Euro Cup and got second place in the Carabao Cup. Cool. Having enjoyed the greatest era in the current decade, this current decade, the Blues are undoubtedly one of the most respectful clubs in England, boasting a proud total of 33 competition wins. Here are just some of their highlights. Chelsea won the Champions Cup in 2012, finished second once, won the English top division six times, and are four times runners-up, finished runners-up in the club World Championship in 2012 and won the Club Winners' Cup in 1971 and 1998. Your coaching staff, the director again says, your coaching staff have compiled a brief overview of the current Chelsea squad. They will provide you with a more comprehensive report in the coming days. A global transfer ban has been placed upon Chelsea until the end of the year, Tuesday, December 31st, 2019. Oh, that'll make things interesting for the beginning of the year. Um, right now they're showing the best 11 are Tammy Abraham, the Pedro guy, Loftus Cheek, William, uh, Kovacic, Conte, Emerson, Tamori, Rudiger, Aspilicueta, and Kepa, or Kepa, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Obligations include... Hakim Ziyech, who will join next July from Ajax. Uh, Morata is leaving to go to a, uh, Madrid in July. And we have loan obligations uh, showing that Victor Moses is going to be on loan until June to Inter Milan or Inter. Um, Raman is going on loan to Mallorca. Piazon is going to Rio for a couple years. Mario Pasalek is going to Atlanta till June. Um, Black, Blackman, Jamal Blackman is going to Bristol Rovers until May. Uh, David or Davide Zapacosta is on loan until next June to Roma. And we got more and more and more, all these people. I'm not even going to read them, you can see them. It's like a lots of people we have going on loan. Matt Miaska comes back in May of next year. He's a good defender. Defending is a good uh, 
good thing to have. All right, director, outline of the board's vision for the future. I'll touch shortly to discuss the finer details and to finalize our competition objectives for the coming season. Club culture, develop players using the club's youth system. Play attacking soccer is required as a playing style. Play possession soccer is desired. So, so the required ones would be the attacking, and then it looks like that's desired. Sign players under 22 for the future is favored. Play entertaining soccer is preferred. High, play high repu sign high reputation players is preferred. The five-year plan is to maintain self-sustainability as desired. Build a new stadium that's favored. Sign young players to develop for profit is required. Maximum one-year contracts for players over 30 is desired. That sounds familiar. Expand the stadium is favored. Maintain the best youth system in the country is desired. Maintain the best youth system in the world is also desired. Maintain Premier Division's best youth systems also desired and work within the payroll budget is required. At the end of this, by the end of the season, um, Premier Division required to qualify for the Euro Cup, Euro Championship Cup, FA Cup uh, must uh, minimum preferred to reach the final of the FA Cup, Champions League need to uh, require to reach the quarterfinal, and the Carbao Cup is, is not important. End of next season, challenge for the silverware. And my contract expires. Work within, work towards challenging for the Premier Division title. Uh, by the end of next season, challenge for the Premier Division title is desired. Then the next year, work towards winning the Premier Division. And finally, by the end of 2023-24 season, win the Premier Division, but it's just preferred. All right, that's a good outline. Prior to appointment, uh, staff have been handling majority of the day-to-day -day business and activity. Over the coming days and weeks, we will be in, in touch with introductory emails that are designed to give you an overview of the different areas of the club, allow you to undertake, overtake, yeah, undertake introductions into how they work, and ultimately decide which tasks you want to personally be responsible for and which you prefer to delegate. Here's the schedule. I'm just going to go down the list. Uh, First is the scouting induction, scheduled for due two days' time. Send today, send, done. Transfers induc induction, scheduled for uh, three days' time, cannot be undertaken because of the transfer embargo, okay? Training induction, all right, I hit send. Tactics induction, complete already. Team report induction, scheduled for tomorrow, I'll send today. Squad dynamics introduction, um, it says complete, I'll go ahead and hit send. Medical care center in induction, I'll get, hit send. Squad induction, send. Coaching staff induction, send. Development center induction, send. Finally, do not hesitate to let me know if you would like any of the arrangements below to be made. Once again, I'd like to welcome you to Chelsea and everyone at the club hopes that this is the beginning of a long and successful era. First arrangement, schedule a press conference to meet the media. Sure, why not? Arrange an intra-squad friendly for tomorrow to assess the squad. Sure, why not? Send an advice report for from the coaching staff, yes, confirm. Let's call this Your playing style will have an impact on the likelihood players becoming injured. The more you ask them to do, the more they get hurt, is I think what it's saying. All right, so it looks like it starts out by a minute-by-minute minute 
writing through the email box. This will be, uh, I will quickly go through this, try not to read the whole thing because it looks pretty long. Chelsea hire Mangler as their coach. Chelsea has confirmed the appointment of Mangler as the club's new head coach. Oh, wait, we already read this. Next. A global transfer ban has been placed. Yep, till the end of the year. Tactics induction. Oh, so it's scheduled right here. Uh, express how your team, how you want your team to play. The key aspects of the tactic are outlined below, and there are numerous ways you can customize a tactic to your exact requirements. The tactic style, which is the team's core attacking intent, ranging from very defensive to very attacking. In team instructions, these are commands issued to the team and are broken down into in possession, in transition, and out of possession. The next is formation. This represents the distribution and placing of the players on the pitch itself, and the formation initially set represents the team sh shape out of possession. Player roles. Player roles and duties are important. They set instructions for each player and are linked to the play team mentality and team instructions. Team fluidity reflects the shape and structure of the team based on these roles and duties. All right, let's take this induction. This is sort of like, it looks like a tutorial. It's time to talk tactics. To begin with, you'll be given with some options upon which to build a tactic. Once you're finished, it'll, I'll be back to help you with a few more things you might want to consider. Choose a tactical style. Control possession. The Gagan press, or Gigan press, I can call it Gagan. Tiki taka, vertical tiki taka, wing play, route one, fluid counterattack, direct counterattack. Each one has specific goals um, having to do with where they're at. Looks like some are trying to control, win back possession, high intensity, dominate possession, dominate possession. Uh, this looks sort of like what uh, Tiki Taka looks like, more of a current uh, Chelsea strategy because they dominate the possession, lots of passing, things like that. I like this one. This is called Wing Play. It looks like get quality crosses into the box. I like the crossing idea. Uh, overloads the wide areas. That's a good idea. They also put thumbs up next to it. I wonder if that's something specific to our team. They also have fluid counterattack, which soaks up pressure. More expressive and fluid counterattacks. All right, next. Here we are in tactics. Let's go ahead and choose a tactical style. So um, let's start with... Let's start with the Gagan Press one. I like that idea. And so they're showing that it relies on every player in the team working hard and above all else being fit and mobile enough to press the opposition immediately after losing the ball. Um, has a positive mentality, pass into space, play out of defense, extremely high tempo, fairly narrow. In transition, it's taking short kicks, distributing to center backs, countering, and counter press. Out of possession, higher defensive line, uh, much higher line of engagement, extremely urgent, prevent the short goal, preventing short goalkeeper distribution. Choose a formation. So I'll go ahead and pick this one. Um, they have a thumbs up next to 4231 wide. I've heard good things about this formation. Yep, look at that. So you got a, a front attacker. Three supporters, one of them being attacking and the other two supporting, and then two middle defenders, box-to-box uh, -box midfielder and ball-winning midfielder, and then just four in the back, two wing backs and two central, a central and a ball playing, and then a sweeper keeper. Uh, let's try that for now. I know that sometimes, you know, three, but this can, person can play back. We can kind of see if we can control. I bet we can even, no, it looks like I can't modify it, but I'll uh, say confirm for this one for starting. You, your creative tactic will become the primary trained tactic. This will become your club's tactical dis identity and will aid your assistant in setting up weekly training schedules. You may also create two alternate tactics that will be trained for familiarity. All right, just showing the same thing. Tactics broken down in three main areas. Yeah, same thing you already told me. Instructions used in possession when you have the ball. Yep, we already said that one. Um, 
and then they show the different spaces in the different places. You can uh, control the tempo, passing directness, time wasting, uh, in transition, the different options. You can when the, when it's lost, when it's won. Goalkeeper has it. Distribute to the player area. Distribution type, like how you do your passes and stuff. Um, during phases out of position, you know, set your defensive line, how high you bring it, pressing intensity, tackling, marking and tackling. Last thing you need to do is pick the starting lineup or ask for assistance. Tactic ready to go. Here's a provisional squad that best suits up, suits it. Each player within the starting 11 is assigned a role. These roles dictate the instructions given to the player within that position. They've got a role listed out. Deep line forward, advance forward, target man, poacher, complete forward, pressing forward, trecartista, whatever that means, and false nine, whatever that means. Roles, duties, instructions assigned to the position staff or to a particular player when they play in that position. Player's suitability for each role is an important indicator as to how well they'll play. Team fluidity reflects the shape and structure of the team based on the roles and duties selected. A setup where defenders and midfielders are most likely to join the attack will be more fluid than one where the players are instructed to stay back and maintain their shape. The positions and roles assigned to your players will determine the team's fluidity and it is up to you to design what kind of shape fits best with your chosen strategy. Play close attention to the fitness and condition of the players you select. Players closer to 100% in each area are more likely to play to their full abilities, whereas tired players will play at a lower level and at a heightened risk of injury. All right. Keep an eye on those. All right, we're going to put a cut in here, uh, but we will continue this in a moment on number two.